Good morning, everyone. We are Plastivation Corporation, a startup based in San Pasqual, Batangas City. Today, we will be presenting our innovative project entitled Design and Develop an Automated System for Converting Non Biodegradable Plastic Waste into Molded Utility Buckets. Our company aims to address the growing issue of plastic pollution by developing an automated system that recycles discarded plastics and transforms them into durable utility buckets. Through this project, we hope to reduce waste in the community while providing a practical and sustainable product that households can use. Now here are the contents of our presentation. First is the problem opportunity, next is value proposition, underlying magic, business model, go-to market, competitive analysis, management team, financial metrics, and now and then what? In many communities today, a large amount of plastic waste continues to pile up without proper disposal, especially in waterways such as sinking streams. Since these plastics do not decompose, they cause pollution, block drainage systems, and harm the environment. But instead of seeing plastic only as a waste, we saw an opportunity. Since plastics can actually be recycled and turned into useful products, this led to our innovation in transforming plastic waste into high-quality molded utility buckets. With this solution, we are able to reduce plastic pollution while creating something that benefits every household and the community. Next is the underlying magic. The process begins by placing the plastic materials into the feeding unit, where they move into the shredder unit as the shop rotates the blades. The material is cut and forced through the cutting chamber the power transmission unit supplies the electricity needed to operate the shredder. Large plastic barrels are then broke down into smaller pieces, manageable pieces for efficient recycling while the hopper holds the raw materials before processing. The screw motor drive twists and push the material forward and the heat melt the shredder plastic so it can be transformed into usable raw material. Finally, the model heats up and shapes the melted plastic into the desired form by pressing into a mold where it cools and hardens to create the final product such as utility buckets. Plastivation follows a simple but scalable revenue system. First, the core of our revenue comes from selling our compact recycling machine. This machine converts mixed plastic waste into durable molded water storage buckets. So every unit sold directly support both waste reduction and community utilities. Second, aside from the machine itself, the company also earns from essential support services. This includes maintenance packages, operator training, and installation funded through CSR and EPR programs. These additional services ensure the machine operates safely and efficiently for the long term. Third, the business is designed to be highly scalable. We can partner with LGUs, local communities, and cooperatives to deploy multiple units, making the system expandable from a single barangay up to a nationwide program. Go to market now. As Plastivation Corps enter the market, it will innovate a solution that meets the needs of the consumers and will contribute more on our environment by developing a sustainable products. Where do people can find our Buckle Machine? Buckle Machine can be found through different social media platforms, through emails, web page, and Facebook account. So for our competitive analysis, we have three companies that offer the same product offer. The first one is Ameron Group. It has a premium, high-tech industrial um, recycling system known for advanced automation. The second one is Invot Plus Machinery, mid-range, cost-effective recycling and intrusion machinery, aimed at small to medium plastic processing businesses. The last one is Environ Tech Recycling Incorporation, affordable, community-centered recycling solution that transforms collected plastic into practical and socially impactful products. 
So why our company is more better than them? We have three reasons. The first one, it solves two problems at once. Plastic waste reduction and water, um, water storage solution in one machine. The second one is high social value. Creates useful products, which is the buckets, that directly helps household. The third one is that it's easy to operate, maintain, and re replicate. Simple me mechanics that allows local te technicians to maintain and fix it. So let me introduce our management team. Behind every great company is a team of leaders who guide strategies, operation, and innovation. Leading our company with vision and purpose is our Chief Executive Officer, Gian Baldonado. As the CEO, he ensures that all aspects of our company align with our mission and long-term goals. Turning that vision into action requires seamless operation. Overseeing the smooth running of our daily business is our Chief Operating Officer, Ravel Faith Aziz. She ensures that every department works efficiently and effectively towards our shared goals. To make sure our message reaches the right audience and strengthen our brand, leading market, marketing and public engagement, Francesca Atea Manalo, our Vice President of Marketing and Public Relations. She crafts strategies to connect our company with clients, partners, and the community. Of course, sustainable growth requires careful financial planning. Managing our financial strategy, Lindsay Rodriguez, our Chief Financial Officer. She ensures our resources are used wisely while supporting the company's growth. And finally, innovation and development are the engine that keep us moving forward. Planning Engineer and Research, Daphne Marasigan, our Vice President of Engineering and R&D. She ensures our products and solution remains cutting edge and market ready. Together, this management team combines the leadership, strategy, creativity, and innovation to guide our company towards success. So here our board of advisors, environmental and sustainability, mechanical engineering and product development, technology and automation, manufacturing and supply chain, business strategy and market development, policy, community, and government relations advisors. And for our board of investors, lead impact, technology and innovation, manufacturing and industrial, strategic business investors, community and government partner investors. Now let's proceed to the financial metrics of our project. This table summarizes the estimated unit production cost required to build one complete buckle machine. We'll start with the control system, which costs around 60,000 pesos, covering the PLC, HMI, and the necessary wiring. Next is the extruder. Price at 90,000, which serves as the main processing unit that melts and forms the plastic. Our molder comes at 70,000 pesos, and this includes the single cavity mold used for shaping the melted plastic, specifically into buckets. We also have the shredder, costing 45,000, which handles the initial breakdown of plastic waste into smaller workable pieces. For the structural and assembly, we allocated 35,000 pesos to cover steel fabrication and painting of the machine frame. The power and electrical components amount to 25,000, which includes motors, VFDS, and the other electrical installation. Lastly, the miscellaneous and contingencies have a budget of 31,000 pesos accounting for screws, piping, spare parts, and other assembly needs. Putting everything together, the total estimated unit production cost for one buckle machine is 356,000 pesos. Now for the financial side, our machine cost 356,000 pesos to build. After adding a standard 10% overhead and a modest 20% markup, our final selling price is estimated at around 470,000 pesos. Now and then what? We, the researchers, conducted a study 
and identify the problem in Barangay Pok, ng Kapitan, San Pascual, Batangas, and propose an automated solution that deals with waste disposal. As Bacal Machine enters the market, it targets consumers that have a similar situation in dealing waste disposal, such as their waste is not being collected by the charge collector. As it attracts consumers and reaches the market demand and meets the satisfaction, it is suitable for improvement and development of the machine that will result in potential growth and development. Furthermore, a startup needs investors as it helps in developing a machine that has a material that is cost-effective and efficient, which attracts consumers and the need to solve a problem that benefits both consumers and producers that produce a sustainable products.